Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, June 25th to the 26th. Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Scorpions, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to pull four cards here and then get a channeled message just for you, Scorpio. Star card at the bottom of the deck. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the nine of wands interesting what is that the bottom of the deck the star okay all right so let's get this message scorpio see what spirit has for you Ooh, they're saying set forth down the road um, of enlightenment. So they're wanting you to, well, if you're watching this channel, you're probably on the path anyway, but be more aware of it. They're wanting you to continue further. They're like, go further. Okay, sometimes you can get lost, Scorpio, they're saying. Sometimes you can get lost. So don't allow this third dimension to take you off on a detour, okay? All right, interesting. Interesting, very ethereal um, messages today. Of course, you're the, only, you're the second one I'm doing, but the star at the bottom of the deck, Taurus got the same thing. Now that talks about a wish and a desire. What have you been wishing for and desiring, Scorpio? Now, whatever it is, it could be making you anxious. Or you could be anxious. Now, the Nine of Swords is right over the Six of Pentacles here. Now, the Six of Pentacles talks about giving to more than one person. Right? It could be you're in a relationship and the other is giving to more than one person. Or you are and it's driving you nuts right? It's making you nervous. It's making you anxious. You don't know what to do about it. Maybe you've got to make a choice between two. You're a little bit defensive, right? So on top of this anxiousness, you're defensive. This may be the detour and spirits saying yes. Careful you're not taking a detour with your emotional state and in not paying attention to spirits okay it's like focus on the spiritual rather than the material there's only one six here usually i'll say that with a couple of sixes but i'm feeling it with this six all right clarify the six of pentacles why is this here the queen of cups now you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Is this Scorpio? No, this is not another. Okay. Doesn't have to be. Could be somebody that's intuitive, creative, wears their heart on their sleeve, is very open. But they could be emotionally closed off if they're not if they're not balanced emotionally, right? Well, if they're not balanced, they can close themselves off. Tell me, tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Two of Wands, they could be at a distance. Now, again, there's a choice between two. I feel like you have to make a choice between two. And you got to leave something behind. Because this is distance. Two of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Oh, three of swords. Yeah, you know somebody's heart is going to be broken. Or like I said, um, energy can be reversed, but I'm, I'm reading it as you. 
clarify this. Ten of Pentacles. You want happiness, right? And you can't have happiness this way because it's driving you nuts. It's making you anxious for whoever this is resonating with. It's making you anxious. It's making you worried. It's keeping you up at night, possibly sleepless nights. This could have to do with a marriage because the Ten of Pentacles is uh, abundance, yes, but marriage and loyalty. So... For some of you, you could be married and stepping out or somebody in this equation is married. Tell me about the nine of wands. Why this defensiveness? Yeah, sadness. That's Teddy dreaming in the background. <laughs> Five of cups. That's mm, memories over the past, okay? And that makes sense because Mercury is retrograde, okay? And memories will tend to surface of past loves. And people tend to come back from the past also. So this may be what's happening. But you have to realize there is two of cups right behind you, right? So try to refocus your attention when that energy surfaces. Tell me more about this page of wands. Yeah, his distance again with the world card. You're wanting to start a new cycle. This could be a pattern of behavior, right? That you're wanting to change. You could be wanting to move because we do have a couple of moving cards here. But you are optimistic about this. Underneath this anxiety, defensiveness, right? There is that bit of optimism about the future. So what is your advice for Scorpio? <laughs> Uh, another wish card. What is it that you wish for? Because we had the star card at the bottom of the deck, right? What is it that you wish for? It can be sometimes just as simple as that. And there is no wrong or right answer. It's just what is for you. It's your truth. King of Wands. See the determination in this King of Wands. And I do feel this is you. And they're saying, know what you want. Know what you desire. Don't apologize for it. Just go and get it. That's it. Just go and get it. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. You got to make a decision. Here we have with the two again. All right, Scorpio, I hope this helps. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information can be found in the description box below. Have yourself a good one, Scorpio. I'll talk to you tomorrow.